For the family of Juanita Nielsen, the hope of catching her killers is all but gone. Their final wish, though, is to put her at rest. We know from the inquest she was murdered. Um, it will be lovely for the family to have her remains in the family burial ground. To help make it happen, the government has put a million dollar reward on the table. And that's really important for us um, to be able to look for Juanita's remains to give answers to the family. An heiress to the Mark Foy's retailer, Juanita Nielsen was last seen leaving the Carousel Cabaret Club in King's Cross in 1974. It was a time when the journalist used her newspaper to bring attention to the plight of residents being kicked out of their homes, often by corrupt developers. If it wasn't for Juanita Nielsen, many of these terraces here in Potts Point would have been lost to developers, including her very own here at number 202, Victoria Street. Her family still believes her fight to protect local heritage made her a target. At the time Juanita disappeared, it was rumoured that she was costing developers millions per day. Mm. Two men were convicted over a conspiracy to kidnap the 38-year-old, but her killers have never been caught, and police admit it's unlikely they ever will. Since the passage of time, a lot of those persons of interest, if not all, have now passed away. So the focus now is on finding her remains. She was very much loved by all her family and very much missed. Love that is imprinted on a plaque outside her old home, recognising her contribution to the Potts Point community. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.